Hi, I'm Rebecca and Nicole from ConquerBooks.com and today we're reorganizing my bookshelves. So obviously we're going to keep my bookshelves alphabetized because that is the very best way for organizing books. But I was thinking, hey, are you listening to me? Okay, this isn't fooling anyone. Obviously we're not at Nicole's book cave. And obviously this isn't Nicole. Uh, this is a tasty cutie. Yes, it's April 2020. It's the COVID-19 pandemic. Nicole is at her house. I'm here at my house. Hopefully you are at your house and it's time to organize my bookshelves. As you can see, I already keep my shelves pretty streamlined. I used the Marie Kondo method a couple of years ago and got rid of any books that I was holding on to just because I thought maybe someday someone would want to read them, not necessarily me. And I sold a bunch of them, I donated them, and since then I've used my library a lot more and I've also been very careful about what books I keep on my shelves. If I do buy something and I just don't really enjoy it, I sell it afterwards. Um, to me, it's worth having some empty shelf space so that I can actually be able to find the things that I want to read. And keeping things in my house to me is reserved for the things that I use and the things I want. Everybody has their own philosophy on what to do with your bookshelves, that's mine. Um, so I'm only getting rid of a few books. Um, Harry Potter in French. I still have my full Harry Potter collection down here. I'm working on collecting the illustrated copies as they come out. Um, I took French in college and I always thought that like, I would just be able to read it. Monsieur and Madame Dursley, qui habite au quatre pivot drive. <laughs> so this is unfortunately going. Um, this is a, a nice little novel, but not necessarily something I need to keep on my shelves. Um, Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress. Um, it was interesting, but not something that I think that I want to read on a regular basis. Frosty the Snowman. I just can't stand this as a book. I cannot read this again. Wheels on the Bus. We sing it as a song. It's better as a song. My kids have kind of outgrown the touch and feel books, so goodbye if I were a penguin. This is the only one I feel a little bit bad about because grandma, this is from you if you remember, and I just don't use it. It is a lot of information about plants and some of it doesn't apply to our climate, so. Sorry, I'll find a good home for it. Other than that, I have a few library books to return. A couple of things that I read for fun. Uh, Sophie Kinsella, Wedding Night, a novel. Not usually what you find on the Conquer Book YouTube channel. And I got a ton of books about Elizabeth Warren because I was pretty torn up when she dropped out of the race. So, pulling through. Um, I'm writing a nonfiction book proposal right now. So I had a couple of books for research that need to go back. And I got a big stack of Matt Forbeck books because he's coming to ConquerCon this fall. So I was reading up pretty much whatever I could about what he's written. So that's it. Next week, I'm going to have a full bookshelf tour coming at you so you can see what I do keep on my shelves because those are the things that are most meaningful to me. And stay safe during this pandemic. <laughs>